What's going on, everyone? My name is Impulse, and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Oh my goodness, look at this straight away. More art has been added, or graffiti, I guess you could say. And uh, Joel, <laughs> nice job. Nice job. This is, uh, is, I'm getting excited now, just seeing what Jem did, what Joel did. We got other little things sprinkling up here and there. This is gonna look so cool when the entire wall all the way around has all this kind of like crazy graffiti art on it. Uh, I wanna show you this. I did a little more tweaking. I took some of your advice. A lot of people said, hey, it's gonna be an XP bank. Why not have XP bottles in there? Brilliant. Uh, so I went with that. And yes, I know uh, it is a little symmetrical. It's a habit. I'm trying to I'm trying to get over it. It give me some time. I, I I'll, I'll get out of the habit eventually by the end of the season, hopefully. We'll see. But also check this out. I fixed a sign. I, I don't know why I didn't realize this in the first place. I could fit the entire bop on one side. Uh, it, so that makes it look so much better. That doesn't span across. And so that is now done. Added the exclamation point. Some people said that would make it nice. And uh, well, hey, what did we just say? Try not to be symmetrical. And it looks better. Anyway, uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't even get a chance to record my intro before some things happened. I got mail. And better yet, look at who is back. Oh my goodness, Tyler Swift. It's so good to have you back. And yes, yes, has all the hearts. Has all the same speed and can jump. I tested it, can jump the 5.2 blocks. And so we got it. We got Tyler back. Although, when I checked my mail, at first I thought something else was going on. We've got some sort of uh, banner. I, I, I'm, I'm streaming right now. I'm being told by chat that this is a, a UK post box <laughs> marker of sorts. It is now at my my post box. I'm not sure who put that there, but also I noticed we got our light on, so I want to see what mail we got. And, ooh, new stamps. Okay, this is good. So it looks like beef has been added. Pearl finally gets her own mailbox and green as well, so we can add them to the list of people that we can send stuff to. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. So many hermits have their mailboxes. They are rocking and rolling. Thank you so much, Pearl, for the free stamps. Uh, I'm going to run out of some of them. Corrales. Yeah, we sent him something. Speaking of. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. We've got uh, our horse issue, right? You remember remember Tyler Swift? We're sorry. Oh, oh. What is all this? This, this is... Okay. We'll worry about that. Dear Mr. Empey, we regret to inform you that there has been a terrible accident during the diagnostics of Tyler Swift. Our biggest condolences. We have included the remaining... No. What? As a token of goodwill, we have provided a new majestic stallion, all free of charge. We will be in touch regarding extended horse warranty and insurance. No. T Tyler? But it seems pretty obvious this isn't actually Tyler's remains. I mean, this isn't even a gray horse's head. So, whatever... Corral is trying to make me feel like my horse died. Nice try. I'm not buying it. So I've been thinking, now that we have pretty much wrapped up this building, and this whole time it's felt kind of odd and awkward that that building that B-dubs did is over there by its lonesome, and my building over here is over here by its lonesome, maybe today we could give it a friend. I talked about it last episode. I think if we start to put some more stuff in here, we'll start to get the actual cyberpunk city vibe, because the city has to be more than one structure, right? So I am ready to build. I got some materials together, and I think let's just jump right into it today. And we have a couple new buildings now here in the Cyberpunk City. 
And I like it. Uh, not a ton of detail. I did a little bit of detail here and there, but you can see I didn't do a lot with the texturing. We still got some flat surfaces and, uh, you know, probably do the same thing I did here where I kind of like built it in a flat way and then little by little kind of chipped away at it, giving it a little more, a little more detail. That kind of stuff is fun to do on live streams and stuff. So I, I leave that behind. But look at this. While I was building it, I had to take a break. Uh, to, to get some sleep, and I came back, and there was a sign that says, Look at amazing love B dubs. Oh, thanks, B dubs. Got the B dub stamp of approval. You can't, uh, you can't, you can't do any better than that, right? Like, that's how I, uh, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good. Hey, you may have noticed this time I didn't, uh, I didn't make a box. I made a, I made you know, shapes to it this time. However, uh, I did do this a little differently than, uh, I usually do. I actually built the back first. Um, this is just really plain. I thought about just leaving it open. This is actually going to be a very tall, and by very tall, I mean very, very tall skyscraper. In fact, this is the tallest building in the entire cyberpunk city. And I'm not ready to do that just yet uh, for a couple reasons. One, it's going to look very awkward to have the tallest building in the city built so early on. And then kind of like by itself almost. And to I don't not, don't want to block Joel's stuff just yet. You know, I want to make sure that we still have views to all his amazing stuff that he has going on. Um, and the skyscraper scraper will block it, at least from certain angles, once it's done. And also, I just don't have a lot of materials together. And I still needed to design it to, to make it look good. It's, all, it's just a flat wall right now. Uh, obviously going to be designing this and making it cyberpunky later. But yeah, just kind of left that there. And I just I didn't want it to just be open in the back. So we've got that. Let's take a little trip down here. Uh, I have a door here. I think what we'll do is chip away at an interior for this. And I'm going to leave this wide open because this is going to have a point. Uh, it's going to be a game. In fact, I'll tell you what it's going to be because I've already decided that it being the tallest skyscraper in the entire city, it would be fun to drop down from way up there and maybe even go lower than this. We'll see. But you guys have seen those dropper games in Minecraft where you, you have to drop down. You got to avoid stuff along the way. You got to make sure you're over here. Now got to go over here. And over here. It's going to be one of those kind of games where you have this long fall and you have to survive it all the way to the bottom. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Once the skyscraper is built, we'll be building that up. But this whole part right here could actually be some really cool interior shops and stuff like that. Uh, I probably won't go as crazy as some of these, but we definitely need to like open it up and have some, some stuff moving around and some more Cyberpunk vibe. I've kept it really, really kind of clean and quiet for now. But I'd say I'm done with this for today. I'm going to take Jem's advice. She said, after a build like this, it's good to just sit on it for a little bit, right? Instead of forcing it and forcing extra details uh, when your, your brain's kind of like a little bit fried just from this initial build part. Give it some time and and see what comes to you. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. And like I said, we'll, we'll do some like chipping away and detailing on streams and stuff. So I guess sounds a good time to plug it, right? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Impulse SV. Uh, if you go slash schedule, which I'll put a link in the description, it'll tell you when I'm streaming. It's typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. So yeah, hopefully you guys can catch me there and give me some ideas and stuff like that. And as we detail this out. And I think back here, I don't want to just have it be nothing, right? We need to have something here. And I'm thinking we could continue this pathway in and have just a little bit of like, I don't know, kind of parking lot space and maybe a little decoration here so that uh, this is still kind of inviting for Joel as he comes down. But while I was building that, something happened. Scar stopped by, and he wanted to talk a little bit about my permits that I have. Oh, and sorry about the music in the background. It took me a little bit to turn it off. I was streaming at the time when this happened. What uh, what are you gonna do with those terracotta blocks permits? I don't know. You want them? You want to fight Big T? <laughs> fight Big T? I want to <laughs> annoy Big T. Is what I want to do. Here's the thing. I don't think I'm making any money off my permits. <laughs> None of mine, same, none of same, mine were same, big same, money same. makers. So I, I wouldn't be distraught if I didn't have them. Grass blocks. So, I so keep. grass blocks. So what, I keep. So, what, so what you're telling me is that you, uh, you want to part ways with the old, um, yeah, the old terracotta block, huh? Yeah. I think I, I think I had typos on these signs. Okay. Well, you know what, Pickles? <laughs> you know what? Just going to throw this out there. And I, I, I'll let you, okay. I, I told you the other day when I was on my day off, 50% um, profit mm. sharing for the two permits forever. Okay. 
in perpetuity. That's a contract word from a lawyer I heard one time. Oh, okay. Um, Fancy. So I'm getting a legit offer here. Now that it's it's not your day off, right? Oh, no. no. Oh, we spammed oh, no, it at the really same broken. time. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. Not spam proof. Check. Okay. Next time, build a door. Spam proof buttons. I got it. But I'm just going to leave that with you. Okay. So 50 -50. You're, you're saying 50 50. And all I do is I just give you these. Wait, who's got to stock it then? Who's the, am I 50 50 in stocking the shop as well? As Green would say, old muggins. Old muggins. We have to pay. I, I don't know what that means. We he have says, to pay I don't this know if that's a muggins British thing. To... Sounds like we're hiring. I don't know employees. if that's a British thing. Either way, it, I'll do it. I'll take care of all the stock, everything. All you do is get the residuals of the profits. How can I pass that up? I do nothing. I don't know, really, right? It, it's uh, it's right. a killer deal, to tell you the truth. I do nothing. Right, Jen? I just get 50% of the profits. Yeah. Listen to Jem. Would you Gem take the wise. deal? Because I don't have interest in in uh, opening a terracotta shop or, or being part of the collective. Now, and if I were to trade those to somebody else, you would still get the 50%. That would be in the deal with whatever contract I would sign with someone else. Really? Just to be bully up front? How would that work? I don't know. If you did Impulse, 50 I don't 50 think you with take someone, it if you're gonna trade it away. No, I would never. I'm I'm I I am fully in into uh take down big T. This sounds like a nice little battle's deal. gonna happen. What do you think? Sounds like a great deal. I mean, I could play along and taking down big T as well, right? 50-50. Mm -hmm. We could we could share yeah. that. You know what's I'm, I'm in. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. You're in. Wow. Deal. That's less Look two less deeds that. I have to worry about or permits I have to worry about. I like that. Red and light gray. Oh, light gray is fantastic. Have you seen light yeah, gray terracotta? It's, it's, it's a good looking black one. It's not sure what we're gonna do with that. Look at it. It's a good looking block. Do I have red? I do. It's a red decent not, block. It's not terrible. I like it. Like I mean, gray. that's actually a decent color combo to be honest with you. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. I'll just that's my next building right there. I'll build that. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that deal with Scar works out. I could use some diamonds. I am pretty broke right now. In fact, let's do a quick caving session. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Much better. And we got deep dark. Excellent. Is it an ancient city or is it just What are we dealing with here? I don't see any skulk sensors. I do see a diamond. Oh. Shoot. Uh. Come on. Free diamonds, but. Uh, Warden is. Well. Uh. Okay. Let's go this way. While I think about this. This way, I don't see. Okay, free diamonds up there. All right, so we're going to still touch these and see how many we get, yeah? It's a pretty good haul right there. There's so many diamonds in there. Hey. It didn't set off a catalyst. So we're good. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. I thought the gravel was going to... I thought the gravel was going to sell me out. Oh, good. Finally, more than one. Mm, gimme, gimme. Yes. Yes. More, please. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh -huh. Aha. I knew. Was, I knew. I smelled them. I smelled them back here. It's just going to be the two that we need for the stack, isn't it? All right. That's that's fate speaking right there. There goes the full stack. Perfection. Oh. We can't. Look, it's a good one, too. A five. A fiver. Stacking up. Here we go. 69 diamond ore. What are we going to get? 160 diamonds. I'll take it. Aha. Uh -huh. Feels good not to be broke. Speaking of not being broke, looks like Etho needs some quartz. Look at that. Did you restock the quartz shop? And he said it's empty. So... <laughs> 
Apparently, I've actually sold some quartz, which I'm not expecting, but let's go find out. Let's go take a look at the shop, see how much we got. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's see if he was right. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hey, hey, there's some in here. There's a few blocks left. Come on down, Etho. Oh, and this is, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so raw, there's some raw left. A few stacks left in here, but we just made more diamonds than I made in the entire hour I just went mining <laughs> from the shop. So, hey, I'll take it. I did not think this was gonna be productive from uh, a sales standpoint, but there we go. Nice. What should we buy? <laughs> I want to immediately go on a shopping spree. I, I've definitely been struggling with shulkers. Is there still, is there still shulkers for sale somewhere? Three diamonds per box. Yep, we're doing it. I'm getting nine of these. Perfect. I decided I'm going to keep track of all my sales. So so far we've got 180 diamonds from our quartz shop, which is amazing. And I think Azuma has something set up to where we can get trophies based off of how many diamonds we've made. Let's go check it out actually. Aha, back here, sales. All right, let's take a look inside here and get your first trophy, 100. Let's take a read. Welcome to the sales shop, a fun and competitive way to track success and compete with your fellow hermits. At this shop, a couple, couple typos in here, you can purchase trophies to show off how many diamonds you have made all season. And you can do this as a player, collective or individual shop. To participate, keep track of how many diamonds you make through sales. When reaching a set amount of diamonds, you can purchase a colorful trophy as a reward. Set amounts, 100, 250, 500, blah, blah, blah. Each trophy costs you 10 diamonds. You can purchase the 100 trophy here. All future trophies can be bought using the mail system. Oh, cool. Simply send your order and 10 diamonds in the post to the sales shop and you will receive the next trophy level. Any questions, contact Azuma. Who's right there? Welcome, welcome. Let me tell you this. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm actually here to reduce the price to a diamond block. Really? So oh, okay. One diamond. Oh, how epic. <laughs> perfect timing perfect timing that's amazing because i've only made 180 so far off of my course shop so i uh, i could use the savings so it's one nice. diamond block the, the, now okay. the way it works is you're not tracking like your overall profit you're tracking every time you make a sale mm -hmm. does that make sense so if you spend diamonds it doesn't reduce your number exactly yes 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 so i'm just i'm, I'm adding it up every diamond i pull from my shop and then yeah i don't have to subtract it just because i buy a trophy right that's it. You got it. You got Perfect. it. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Totally understood it. Okay. So I can pay just a diamond lock now. Yeah. 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 Sweet. I've no what I've noticed is that other hermits are starting to use diamond blocks as the currency. So mm. I was like, I think I'm going to embrace that. You know, let's go next level this season. It let's does look, it, it looks so blocks. much better, doesn't it? In the chest. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, this is sweet. That's the way to go. Okay. I got my, I got my, <laughs> my first hundred. Oh, yeah. You're wearing it already. I love it. Can I, uh, <laughs> Can I request something of you while you're here? Sure. Um, wow, I'm so not prepared for this. It just crossed my can I <laughs> can I kill you? Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh such an awkward question. Uh, <laughs> uh you know, like I'm look, I'm gonna provide you with a chest to put your items in. I have a uh, seven hundred and twenty eight levels, but okay. Oh, are you doing like a thousand levels thing? I wasn't really trying, it just been it's just been happening. <laughs> right. It's your call. Basically, if you follow me through here, I'm uh -huh. figuring out how to create a leaderboard because there's a secret uh, room back here. Oh, you need my head. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put heads in here. Okay, and, what uh, if what if I, I might have a head from earlier deaths that I could supply you? That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Preserve my levels. Oh my gosh, you just freaked everybody out. They're like, he's gonna give up <laughs> 728 levels for a head. <laughs> that is a lot of levels, yeah. I will uh, I will get you a head. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if I have an extra head. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. Appreciate uh, it. Thanks for I signing mean, up as well. Th that's the hard part of like when you get these levels this high, it's like you don't want to yeah, die, but yet dying's part of the fun, so it gets weird. <laughs> I think you should keep going. It should be like a thing. How how much XP can Impulse get in one season? You know? Yeah, and I'm not cheesing it. I'm not holding a totem or anything, you know? So, yeah, yeah, that's it. So You're doing it proper. It'll proper happen. Challenge. It'll definitely happen. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the trophy. It looks good on me. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for signing up. Yeah, you bet. See you later. And suddenly I feel pressure not to die. I wasn't even thinking about it before, but as my levels keep going up and up and getting closer to a thousand, I realize it would be kind of cool to hit a thousand levels 
and uh, especially if I could do it legit, you know, without a totem and stuff. We'll see. We'll see. It's it's hard to stay alive on the server full of shenanigans, you know. But uh, let's go ahead and frame this right here. Oh, I keep I accidentally put it on. Uh huh. Oh, oh, oh! It looks better on a surface. In that case, how about right on top of our ender chest? Rotate that. Perfect. And we can make it invisible even. And it drops down. Aha! That looks really good there. And if we want to work our way up to the next trophy, I'm going to have to keep restocking my quartz. And I've done a little bit more AFK in there. That's how I got up to 728 levels. So let's go see how much we collected overnight. All right. There's our beautiful gold farm. And down here, I definitely think I'm about ready to change these out to shulker box loaders. Because, yeah, we are basically still just throwing away Blackstone. All right, we've got we've got a double chest and then some. I'm going to go ahead and just craft these into blocks right now. Look who's back. Tango's back. Oh, man. Finally, Tango and Skiz were both on vacation and they've both returned. That was a, that was a long vacation. Uh, at least it felt that way. Good to see him back. And somehow I have just enough inventory spots to bring these back. Because like a noob, I didn't bring an empty shulker box. And I think I'll go right to the shop and refill. All right, top that one off. And we'll just sprinkle a few in each one of these side ones. And we wait for the diamonds to roll in. Oh, nice. I do have a couple heads. It looks like one where I was killed by Scar and one where I was killed by Skizzlebad. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll give Azuma this one. And it looks like Azuma's already made some changes. Paintings are down. He's opened this up. And oh, I see what he's doing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'll just pop this down right here. And he can add me to the scoreboard. Cool. And while we're waiting for those diamonds to roll in, I'm going to start thinking about what I want to do with this, how I want to texturize it, any details I want to get added. Oh, and look at this. We're getting more and more graffiti around the city. In fact, I think Joe redid his over there. It's looking pretty good. And Scar added... Oh, what the... Uh, <laughs> this is not graffiti. Uh, what, oh. what are we doing? Hi, Impulse. Why Sorry, is... I'm just... Uh... I'm having a shortcut through your city. Is this okay? Yeah. I'm, how did you get a villager to ride a chicken? <laughs> how oh, is this, this possible? Uh, yeah, just taking my villager for a walk. He needs to stretch his legs a bit. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Just passing through, huh? Just passing through, yeah. Yeah, okay. just going for a little walk around the server. I mean, he, he sells mending books if you if you wanted one. Oh. Lucky few. Wow. Uh, 34. That's expensive. We got a cheaper uh, guy at the, the fishing place, but oh, that, oh, sorry. He's, but he's, he's not riding, riding a, chicken. a chicken. No, no. So <laughs> he, he definitely wins. Yeah. Lucky few wins. That's fantastic, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. Anywhere you think I should show him around the server that you think he'd like? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you should basically, yeah, you should go introduce him to the other mending guy. They might get along. They have something in common. He's just in the uh, fishing That's hut around the corner. Way, right? Yep, yep. Just around the corner you, there. You don't think he's going to be jealous of his chicken, though, do you? He might be. Uh, he might be. But what's he going to do about it, you know? I don't, I'm worried they might fight. <laughs> Could do. It Could might do. be a bloodbath. Okay, this guy maybe, doesn't maybe run away very fast. Like, look how slowly he moves when he's free to roam. <laughs> Yeah, he's not getting away from anything. <laughs> All right, well, don't worry. Uh, the other mending villager is locked in. He can't get out, so ah, I, I think it's safe. Then. There's a Away barrier. Away we go, yeah. and we're going to go and mock him, yeah. my friend. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, just this way, is it? Yep, just that way. Cool. Thanks, Impulse. Yep, see, you see ya. <laughs> okay. Yep. <clears throat> That's what it's like on Hermitcraft Season 10. You never know what you're going to find when you log in. <laughs> Including this. What is what is happening? This is not... This is cursed. Um, you know, I didn't envision, like, the 3D graffiti, but it kind of works. Is that... Is this, like... It's green, cursed eyeballs, wide body, and a lollipop. And I have wither skull for eyes. Yeah, and I think this is supposed to be my buck teeth. Is this like, am I blushing? What is this? What is this? This is so cursed. Oh, this is a throwback. Scar was doing this from the sewer cats of season seven. If you guys were around back then when we were graffitiing up uh, Corrales' town, it was great time. So that's Scar with his little crooked smile. And I think 
I think this is supposed to be B Dubs. His skin was different back then. He had a blue shirt. I think that's B Dubs. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Oh, here's Joe's original rise that he had done. And look, he really stepped up his game over there. Uh, really cool stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, things are happening. Things are definitely happening. Uh, I'm excited to get more builds done here. But like I said, I want to take a little bit of time to figure out what's going to happen on this guy. I got a big wall and you make it a little more interesting. You know what I mean? So I'll be thinking about that. But I think that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.